What's up guys? We're back with another video. And yes, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt as the last video, but y'all know I'll be sitting here filming multiple videos. I'm not changing my shirt just for that. Y'all know, we're not faking shit here. And my PR package is in the background and I don't feel like moving it, so we're just gonna leave that right there. Um, if you are new here, my name is Sammy. This is the Mermaid Gang. This is where we talk about manifestation and paranormal. Mostly manifestation because that's what you guys want and I'm really trying to help you out. I really want to change your lives. I really want to teach you how to change your own lives. So if you are new here, join the Mermaid Gang. Suspend your disbelief. You will get some good information here and just come here with an open mind. Just come here with an open mind. Test what I tell you out for yourselves. You don't even have to take my word for it. Just test it out and let me know if it works for you. I know it will. Now I want to talk about a, not really a technique. It's more of let's change everything instead of nitpicking and problem solving all these little areas of our lives. Let's just change it all. Let's just take care of all of it in one swoop, okay? If you are new here, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you watch my stuff and you decide that you wanna trust me with changing your life around, I offer five email coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and then I offer a subscription package, which is a one month long um, subscription of my undivided attention, basically. I'm basically on call for your needs. If you need any help, we will identify blocks in both and get your situation going back in your favor. So if that sounds interesting to you, Contact me on Twitter or Instagram. Let's leave my business email open for clients who have already paid so that they get their money's worth. I don't need that flooding because they deserve my undivided attention. Okay, how to change your state. What I don't know if you guys know what states are, how they work, so I'm going to explain it to you really quickly. Depression is a state. Um, poverty, broke, is a state. Um, anxiety is a state. Um, chaos is a state. Lucky, that's a state. Unlucky, that's a state. Basically, any word like that that you use to describe yourself a lot, if you are constantly saying these things about yourself, if you're constantly aff affirming with these words pertaining to yourself, that is your state of consciousness. So, when you are in that state, we're gonna use depression for an example. This is really, I understand that people are trying to, you know, be more accepting and about men mental health, and that's great, but at the same time, the media is kind of, and social media is kind of like forcing you guys to, or really pushing you to keep reaffirming those states. And you don't have to be that. You don't have to, you don't have to live or dwell in that state. You can change your state because the bad and the good thing about states is that you will get anything that pertains to that state, anything that will make you feel that way in that state is what you're gonna manifest. So like I said, it's mainly bad in my opinion because if you're in a depressed state, if you constantly describe yourself as depressed, depression, anxious, whatever, then you can only <laughs> manifest things from that state which means you can basically only go as far as getting things, other things that will make you depressed, or if you were to get something good, you will self-sabotage to get back to your depressed state because that, that's where you dwell. So we wanna get out of that. Like we should never be so proud of it that we wanna stay there if it is unpleasant. 
So we want to start dwelling in happy states, um, wealthy, healthy. Um, Candice on Awaken the God Self, she dwelled in a state, and I say dwelled because she's moved on to a different state now. She, for a while, dwelled in a state of the woman who has it all. I mean, doesn't that sound amazing? You can be the woman who has it all. You can be the man who has it all. Whatever state you're dwelling in, that's as far as you can go in your manifestation. Otherwise, you will self-sabotage and bring yourself right back down to that state because that's what you keep reaffirming. That's the state you claim. That's the state you dwell in. I mean, it is what it is. Everything is a state of consciousness. We move different states multiple times a day, but the one we most return to, as Neville says, is our home. That's where we dwell. The state we most return to is our home. That's our dwelling place. Let's stop returning to unpleasant states. Let's move into a happy state, a everything in my life is perfect state, a peaceful, joyful, wealthy, successful, healthy, happily married. That's a state. Mar happily married is a state. Let's move in to those kind of states because in those states we can have all kinds of automatic manifestations that come with that state. If I am now in a depressed state but I decide that I am now in a happy state, what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine. I'm going to imagine a conversation with a trusted person telling me, wow, you are always so happy. Everything works out for you. And I'm going to affirm that. I'm going to confirm that. In my visual, I am going to say back to my trusted person, I am always happy. Like, I am always happy. Everything is always working out for me. And then we're going to loop it that's what we do. We loop it so we make sure we impress every bit of that on that subconscious. We do this in a relaxed, calm state. Either just relax on a chair, on a couch. It can be anywhere. Or you could do it before bed. Or you can do it when you first wake up in the morning. Whatever. Whenever your subconscious is open, that's when we're doing this. We need to be calm, relaxed, stay akin to sleep. We're going to have that conversation, affirm our new state, loop it and loop it and loop it and loop it and then when we come out of that all throughout the day we're gonna think to ourselves i am so happy i am always so happy everything in my life works out for me and when you have transitioned over to that state and it doesn't take long you only need to do this for a little bit when you are in that new state of happiness now you have all these new manifestations that are automatic automatic manifestations, automatic new thoughts, and automatic new feelings about life in general. Because now you've switched to a state of happiness. Everything works out for me. So guess what? All these automatic manifestations that make you feel and think happiness and everything always works out for me are going to just show up. Any circumstance that could make you feel that way or think those thoughts are going to manifest in your life because you have changed into that state. Whereas before, before you were manifesting only things that make you depressed, which kept giving you more reasons to affirm that you were depressed. Now you're in this happy state, everything works out for you. So all these things that make you reaffirm that are gonna keep coming into your reality because that's how states work. So with that being said, what state do you want to dwell? What state are you dwelling in now? Are you, are you okay with that state? Because if you're not, all you need to do is come up with a sentence, just a short sentence to imply your new state and affirm it and transition into that new state and stay there. Stay there. Anytime you feel yourself slipping out of it, I want you to reaffirm it or reimagine it and go back to your new state. The more you come back to that new state, the state that you most return to will be your home. And then you will have your continual manifestations 
and give you everything that make you feel that way and think that way. Happily married? I mean, I don't even have to explain to you what a happily married state would look like. Obviously, you're going to either find the love of your life or the one that you do love is going to turn around and love you right back because this is your reality and this is now your new state of happily married from sad, single, and everybody cheats on me to happily married. Now, you're going to stop manifesting all these things over here that made you feel this way and you're going to come over here and you're going to have all these reasons over here to be happily married. It's really simple. Stop going into the unpleasant states. Stop returning to unpleasant states. Changing your state changes your entire life. Especially when you use one like happy, um, the woman who has it all. That can you see really, that is a great, that is a great idea. The woman or the man who has it all. That, who doesn't want it all? That means love, health, happiness, success, wealth, all. That means all things work in your favor. All things work in your favor. Who doesn't want to be in that state? So let me know if this video helped you. I'm sure that it did because I always intend for these videos to help you. And this is my reality. So I'm deciding that it did help you. Comment below what state you are now going to transition into. What state are you now going to dwell in? I don't want to hear about your old state. Do not reaffirm that old state. I want to hear the new one. What is the new state you are going to dwell in? Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, whatever you need to do to get this video out there and help other people get out of their states, their unpleasant states, and to dwell in their new states and have a new life full of fun, wonderful manifestations. Do that. I'm going to remind you, I do have the option for one-on-one -on -one coaching, either five emails or a full month subscription. Contact me on Instagram or Twitter for more information on it. We will rip apart your old story and we will build you a new one and fix whatever situation you're having a problem with. I can't wait to hear what new state you're going to dwell in and we out.